Millen here from teslataxi.com.au just wanted to make this quick video to demonstrate how you set up your charging stops in a Tesla if you're doing a long trip road trip and what have you if you've got your navigation here you can click navigation click charging I'm heading down to Melbourne so I'll click the Port Macquarie charger as my destination I don't have enough to get there now so it is going to direct me to the Coffs Harbour charger which we're about to get to so as you can see here I've currently got 95k's left in the tank so to speak uh, it shows me here I'll arrive at Coffs with 22% left I can scroll this down to actually see how long I need to be at Coffs you might not be able to read that but it says 20 minutes probably closer to 15 I usually stop 12 to 15 minutes per charging stop just passing the big banana there and uh, once we get to uh, Port Macquarie of course I'll um, it shows there that I'll have 15% if I do my 20 minute stop here at Coffs uh, the current state of charge is 22% in this car, so obviously quite, quite close to the charger now, so that's basically our arrival. If we want to go back to the standard navigation, just click up here. So when we get to Coffs, I'll plug in the car. We're about two minutes away, so I'll show you what that looks like. Well, we're killing time here. Obviously, we're in self-driving at the moment with the blue steering wheel on there. We can scroll this section here to see our power usage. So on this trip we've used 168, so that means 16.8 kilowatt hours per 100 Ks. So you can divide that by your cost of electricity to work out your charging costs. At the superchargers, which are the ones we're about to stop at, the big red Tesla chargers, the cost is roughly double the cost at home. So if you've got a home rate of 27 cents, which is typical in Australia, it'll be around 50 cents or so at this particular charger. If we want to see that on the screen, we can click here and that will show us the charging cost at this charger. We're at a peak time at the moment, so it is slightly more expensive at 66 cents, but if we were doing this trip at night, that would probably drop down to around 50 or 55 cents uh, at this charger, typically. The pricing with Tesla chargers is fairly dynamic. It does change with the actual demand and usage of each individual charger. You can't really see on this map image here, but this um, particular charging station now, the shopping center does have solar panels all over the roof. So you're pretty much charging up on solar panel with the Tesla chargers. Plus, as you may know, they do actually credit um, buy green credits or tree credits, whatever you want to call them for any power that they use off the grid itself. So anything they're not generating with their own solar panels, they're actually planting trees and doing other green initiatives to make sure all the power is carbon neutral or carbon positive, um, carbon negative, or however they phrase that these days. And uh, as you can see here with these chargers, they're quite close to the freeway. So that's the chargers up here in front of us. And right at the moment we have pretty much everything taken except for one by the looks. So it looks like we won't have any weight. If there is a weight in any of these chargers, the longest personally I've ever waited is uh, around about three to four minutes. Uh, with one exception, there was a Melbourne charger where I was waiting for about 15 minutes in an ultra peak time. That was a very small charging bay. It only had four stations. This one here is six. Typically the six ones and the eight ones, um, there's basically never any weight even during peak times like we've got today. So we'll reverse into this spot and plug in the charger. Everything is automatically billed to your Tesla account. So if you are renting one of these cars, we can set you up with Tesla billing in the app. Sorry, it's going to be a little bit shaky here as I disconnect the camera. So that's the main screen. And when we come out here, we will see the chargers. That's the Tesla supercharger. It's car beside us plugged in. So for us to connect here, we need to grab the top plug out of the two plugs for the Model Y that we're currently in. Press this button at the top here, opens up the flap, plug it in, and this will go from white to green once it starts charging. Blue is initiating and green is charging. So in about 30 seconds or less, it should actually show up the charging speed or the charging indicator there that it's green. So when it's green, it is receiving power into the car. So it's now green. So if we go inside the car, we'll be able to see on the display what speed we're actually getting. So it starts off slow. At the moment, it's got 24 as the speed, 29, and that should ramp up to around about 120, depending on the charging station you're at. The higher the state of charge that you're currently at when you plug in, the lower the speed that you can receive. So this speed here of 186 kilometers an hour will ramp all the way up to about 1200 kilometers an hour in a car like this. And when you do have the door shut, it will show you on the screen 
a nice big image of exactly where your charging is up to and of course with uh, most of these Teslas you would have it set so that you automatically walk away from the car and it locks and when you lock it will automatically wind up the windows teslataxi.com.au if you'd like to rent one of these vehicles for yourself either to try out temporarily or we also have plans for Uber drivers and what have, what have you where you can rent a long-term Tesla for Uber we can do anything from eight weeks and above and for private rentals other under teslataxi.com.au we have plans everything from four days and above plus we also have some of our cars set up with Turo thank you